Maslin, Ohio. Pretty church. And here's some of Maslin's finest at work. We'll do a nice walking tour of the Lincoln Highway as it runs through the middle of town, middle of Maslin, Ohio, here in Stark County. Exactly. And here's a beautiful church. Central Presbyterian. The public library. There's the attic resale shop. So if you have an attic you want to buy, that's the place. St. Barbara's Festival coming soon, May 20, 21, 22, and 23. That's the weekend before Memorial Day. So you can do St. Barbara's Festival here and then spend some time with your family doing Memorial Day. An old Huntington Bank and the Lincoln Theater. Some of these old theaters have done a lot of work to keep themselves up. They have A really fascinating history here. Pause that so you can read it. And some fun acts coming to town. Now that the virus, which is not to be named, is hopefully on the wane, we can start to get back some semblance of real life. The uh, governor of the state of Ohio, where we are now, was on TV and the radio earlier today and announced that June 2nd, all state mask mandates will be gone. And uh, it will then be up to private businesses, restaurants, people, etc., to follow their own program, what they want to do. There's a pretty old civic clock there. I always like those. Yeah, so uh, with the mask mandates gone, maybe the social distancing will slowly come to an end and we can get back out to amusement parks and concerts and restaurants and all the things that we've been missing for, uh, gee, 14 months now. Can't believe it's been that long. Anyhow, this mural, pause it on here, honoring Maslin's long history of football with Paul Brown and many other luminaries, a century of heroes, 1894 to 1994. a very nice mural. Very good job. Here's some outdoor dining. Getting there. Some people out and about enjoying downtown. Italian restaurant. A classic old Main Street barber shop. Prom dresses. Ah, of course. Everything Tigers, Maslin Tigers. This is Football Town USA, after all. Maslin and her sister city, Canton. Maslin's home of the Tigers, and Canton is home of the Bulldogs. Rivalry going back over 120 years. Probably the best rivalry in high school football. Sports fans will know what I'm talking about, and non-sports fans won't care, so we'll move on. Here's a neat 
shop here. All oh, tigers. Go tigers. I've been told that's how you say hello to people here in town. They don't say hello, good morning, how are you, like the rest of us. They say go tigers. Another mural. This one depicting the old time canal boats that used to run through the river here. Back when canals were an early form of the interstates we have today. And we're coming over to some more tiger themed stuff. Down here is Cosmos. Look at that place. They've been there forever. And Apothecary, a Mexican grill, which is pretty new. Howard's Tiger Rags, apparel for both men and boys and big and tall. Maslin Tigers fan, gift, and souvenir shop. And here's Rock Knees and Menchie Brothers. Menchie Brothers is one of a few places I know that claim to be the inventor of the ice cream cone. They may have all invented it around the same time together. Menchie's Brothers certainly has a good claim to it. And Buffalo Wild Wings, which although is a national chain, was started here in Ohio, started in my adopted hometown of Westerville, Ohio, in fact. And we're down here in a very loud part of town, just off of Highway 21, Lillian Gish Boulevard, named for the beautiful star of stage and screen, one of the most beautiful women in America in her time, and a woman who called Maslin her hometown before she moved out to Hollywood and hobnobbed with the rich and famous and made movies and history. Maslin's definitely very proud of her and so Main Street got named after her. Nice way to say thank you. Yet another beautiful church over in the distance here. I like the art on the trash cans here. Nice way to show a little bit of civic pride. Beautify something ordinary. Normally ugly. We are here in front of Howard's Tiger Rags. Yet another giant Maslin landmark football shop. I think this is the third or fourth one just downtown. That shows you the level of pride they have here. They don't call themselves City of Champions for nothing. Down here, past another restaurant. Greek restaurant here, I believe. No chairs for outside seating today. It is only 60 degrees. But Aquaman is here. So there's fun. I wonder if it's Jason Momoa or one of the old Aquaman from years past. And after the bus parade goes by here, another old building. Don't know what it was. Probably some sort of a warehouse. Certainly stood the test of time though. Yeah, look at those loading bay doors there on the side. Speaking of old, 
Here's Bloomfields. Some beautiful old stone buildings there. So we come up Erie Street. An old faded mural. On the side of that building. Shows some pretend windows on the side. With a girl looking out over the city. And another mural here for Blades Barber Shop showing the barbers of yesteryear. Healthalicious. I'm guessing they were Rolling Stones fans. Not sure why I know that. Here we are on the corner of Erie and the Lincoln Highway, the main intersection here in Maslin, where it all happens. If you can see in the middle of the crosswalk here, Giant M. Small town with a lot of pride, that's for sure. And we go back up Broad Street. Here's a Grateful Dead trash can. Steal your face. Another old fashioned barber shop. Look at that. Wouldn't that be a treat to get your hair cut here? I know, again, I'm gonna channel Harold Baller and get myself a $3 street haircut like he does. No, I just had my hair cut, so probably don't need it. But if I did get a haircut, this would be the kind of place I'd wanna go. Maybe I'll come back here sometime when they're open and give it a trim, see how it goes. Here's a fun little toy car. And a CBD store. Available in Ohio. Only medicinally at this point, but uh, probably not too long before it's Recreationally available, like in Illinois and Michigan and other states. Here's the Maslin Museum. And here is a giant old Civil War cannon. You can read the sign if you like, but cast in 1853 and been sitting in this spot since 1913 when they didn't need it anymore. That's a Big cannon, that's for sure. And the Maslin Museum with its wonderful mid-century and art deco font design and brick design here. A lot of the city dates to this era. Another thing Maslin has no shortage of is famous people. Here's a wall of them alongside the uh, courthouse and city hall. It's a dapper looking gentleman there. Pretty lady. And I wonder how many of those people ever saw a show here at the Lincoln Theater. Maybe not some of the ones from the 1800s, but some of the younger ones probably did. There's some fun trees. 
along the side of that building. Actually, we're being blocked by real trees a little bit. It's a non-traditional place to keep your flag. And back to the public library. Well, that ends today's video from Maslin, Ohio, the city of champions. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really does help my channel to grow. And I will see you next time.